let's take a look and see what's going on between you versus them. Knight of Pentacles. They are slow moving. The person that you're dealing with is slow moving. Slowly moving forward. But I feel like they're working on a goal. But they're slowly moving forward. You. <laughs> on the other hand. Knight of Wands. <laughs> you're rushing through. But you're also willing to work. You're making good choices. Hmm. You are... You're in a really good place right now. You have the Justice card. And the world. And the Four of Wands. So I feel like for you, for you, you are, you're, you're moving ahead at a really good pace. You're making changes. You're doing things that you know make you happy. You're finding your happiness. Your person hasn't gotten that far yet. When I pulled the cards for you, there's this explosion of cards, right? So I feel like your ideas, your creativity, your goals, all of that is like this explosive energy for you right now. You're finally seeing things that you want to do. That the goals that you want to obtain you're finally seeing you for you I feel like for some of you this situation <clears throat> this situation is now for some of you this person has ghosted you this person has left you out in the cold this person has give you the runaround they have put you on the back burner for some of you this person has also just made you a friend right look at this nine of swords king of pentacles and king of cups yeah for some of you this person put a lot of money before you they put their material things in front of you they didn't make you a priority. Right? Um, and I feel like this person really held back the emotions from you. Tell me more about this person and my collective's energy. Tell me more about this person and my collective's energy. Yeah, look at this. Five of Pentacles. This person feels like <clears throat> they feel like they lost out on opportunity. Huh. Queen of Swords. And this person is very bitter. Very bitter about the opportunities that they lost. They're in a lot of conflict. Your person is feeling a lot of conflict right now. There's a lot of chaos in their life. And I feel like your person is not able to deal with it. They're not able to mentally deal with the emotions that come with you. Justice again and the Five of Cups. This person feels like there's no balance. They feel like they're having trouble balancing their life. Balancing their emotions. Um, and they feel like they've lost you. They feel like there's no way back. Like they've done too much in the past for you to even 
give them a second notice. They feel like the justice in this situation is that they've lost you for good. That there's going to be no way back and that's their karma. That's the karma that they have to deal with. The fact that they've lost you. The fact that someone else may have you and there's nothing that they can do about it. There's nothing that they can say. There's nothing that they can do. Backstory that I'm getting for some of you. And th this could be very specific. But backstory that I'm getting for some of you is that you may not know that before you met this person, this person was on their last heartbreak already. This person... had just left a relationship and it can be different for all of you but this person just left a relationship within the past one year maybe two years before they met you and it was a serious relationship that's what I'm getting this person's heart was totally immersed in this relationship it could have been a long-term relationship right and something in this relationship turned and this person was left out in the cold and when you met this person when you met this person they were rebuilding they were rebuilding their life but they seen you as this empress energy, this beautiful angelic energy, right? And you, oh my goodness, you were everything that they had been looking for. You were everything that they wanted the four of wands right the four of wands energy you were you were wifey you were husband you were family material and this scared this person because whether you know it or not before this person met you they had decided to no longer let love in to lo no longer be a part of it. To just keep everything superficial. Everything top level. You know. That was safer. Not to get your heart involved. Not to wear your heart on your sleeve any longer. Right. And this person had decided. That they would run after the bag. They would look to their future. And they would no longer have to deal with lies and deception because everything was superficial. That's exactly what they expected. They expected for lies and deceit, for cheating, for, you know, all the things that superficial energies bring. So they decided to not worry about the superficial stuff they decided to look towards the future look towards making their bank right look towards material things that was the safest thing that was the safe place you know just worrying about their bag worrying about their future when they're able to retire when they're able to you know be financially secure so this person had written off love. They no longer were looking for love. They no longer were <laughs> open to love, right? They no longer wanted to give to love. They wanted to take what was given to them, but they no longer wanted to reciprocate. They no longer wanted to be bound to the situation to where they would have to give to something that they felt like 
was going to hurt them in the end. That they felt like was going to burden them. Right? We have the Knight of Swords. So this person was running from their feelings. Running from the thoughts that they could ever have happiness or joy. And just keeping things superficial. Keeping things at top level. You know, just taking sexual encounter after sexual encounter. Because they didn't want to feel burdened. They didn't want to feel like that heaviness, right? But when you came along, you brought that heaviness. And this scared that person. This scared that person because they felt like all of their plans was now coming to an end. Everything that they had hoped for with not having to show feelings, not having to, you know, reciprocate, not having to bear the burdens of someone else, you know. That all came to an end with you. Because you opened up something. That this person. Hadn't really. Acknowledged would happen again. And you expected this person to put in effort. To. Make you a priority. And I feel like it just wasn't in them at the moment. It wasn't in them. For some of you, this may have meant they ran. Or focused more on work. Focused more on their bag. You know? But I feel like this person sees you as quality. They see you as... Stability as vitality, you know, they see you as someone, they see you as the empress, right? They see you as this fruitful person that is full of love, full of strength, you know, that's how they see you. They see you as someone very caring, very nurturing. You know, very open to love. And they feel like they may not be... <laughs> they may not be able to give that to you. But they're hoping to give that to you in the future. So they kind of put you on the back burner. Right? Kind of stick you in the friend zone. Um, hope if they double back that you'll still be available. I feel like that's what this person is hoping for. They're hoping for, you know, when they're finally ready to move, that you'll still be available. That you'll still be there waiting. But will you? Will you be there waiting? Hmm. Will you be there waiting for this person? When they're finally, oh, see, yeah, something's going to leave them heartbroken. Because I don't think like, I don't think that you'll be waiting for them to be ready. You won't be waiting for them to remove the walls that they've kind of built around them. And... This person, they're truly going to be left out in the cold because you're no longer waiting. You're no longer hoping for the best. You're just kind of doing you. And I feel that in the collective. I feel that you are concentrating on you. You're no longer concentrating on this person. There's no longer an obsession. There's no longer, you know, lingering thoughts. And because you're no longer lingering on all the thoughts of this person, it's now lingering on them. 
and they're trying to distract themselves they're trying very hard to distract themselves from thinking about you with other things with other people they're constantly trying to distract themselves so they don't have to think about you but it's not working this person thinks about you constantly no matter what they do no matter what distraction they try to bring they're not able to move past it and I think that collective I think that you kind of feel this in, in your energy you feel this tug on your energy that's this person this person is tugging on your energy because they want you to make a move on them. They want you to come out of your comfort. And they want you to make the first move. What's an outcome? Give me an outcome, please. Give me an outcome, please. What would this person do? This person is going to try their best. This person has great walls up. And they know that they have walls. But those walls are getting thin. Those walls are starting to <laughs> crumble. Right? And this person knows that they owe you an explanation. They owe you an explanation for everything. For making decisions without your knowledge for giving you plans that they didn't deliver for setting you as not a priority in their life right this person has explanations that they need to give you and they also have an apology and I feel like this person knows that it has to be a good offer. They have to bring you an offer that's acceptable to you. So, my beautiful collective. This person is working. And I didn't even know this was at the bottom. But this person will be doubling back. So be aware. When they come with an offer, will you accept it? Will you accept the new beginning? Will you take that leap of faith? Because I feel like that's what this person is yearning for. They see the future. And I feel like this person has been fantasizing about a future. It hasn't kind of left their mind, whether you know it or not. It hasn't left their mind. It's still there. Even if you're not seeing it. This, po this person holds a lot of passion for you. And without you in their life, they also hold a lot of sadness. But they're holding that close to their heart. You know, they, they don't want to tell you how they feel. How much you mean to them. But they know that. When they do finally come to you. With this offer. That. There will be some choices that need to be made. And this person is hoping. <laughs> hoping that you make a different choice than they did. They're hoping that. You're able to give to them even after everything that they did they're hoping that you'll be able to make better choices than they did because I feel like this person sees you as having so many options and they wonder if they measure up to be a good choice right this person has a lack of confidence. Yeah, Eight of Swords. 
they have a lack of confidence when it comes to you because whether you know it or not this person's feelings run very very deep very deep and you bring out a lot of insecurities in this person they feel like they don't measure up they feel like there's no way that you there's no way that the Empress could ever be interested in someone like them right and they feel like you're just going to walk away because you're going to finally see them as who they really are. And you're going to decide to walk away. That's going to leave them heartbroken. And this person is scared of that. They're scared of that. That's why this person spends a lot of time alone. Um, they spend a lot of time contemplating whether you know it you know I keep saying whether you know it or not but th this person has a lot of loneliness they spend a lot of time alone and I feel like in these times when they're alone is when they can't shut off their mind when they can't stop the thoughts of you and if you notice from the pull of your energy the, those times when your energy is being pulled this person can't stop thinking about you you know that's that connection that's that connection that you have with them but <laughs> the world right I feel like for the collective there's a lot of changes that are happening right now I feel like your person is going through a lot of changes your person is making a lot of strides when it comes to overcoming um, their fears you know putting their thoughts in more balance right um, I feel like your person is working very hard even if it doesn't look like it um, if you do see them from time to time or if you see them out you know they they're not able to hide that mask anymore that mask is starting to fall it's starting to fall away so you may see them kind of dazing out or in a lot of sadness you know and I'm as far as your person I feel like you just need to be observant observe the situation because I feel like your person may show you one thing when you are when they know you're looking but when they don't know that you're looking or they might put on a happy face when you're looking but when they don't know that you're looking when you're just observing maybe from a distance notice that the mask is starting to fall that they're trying to hold up this facade, right? And I think if you pay, pay attention, pay attention to the surroundings. Because I feel like things in this person's life aren't as stable as what it seems. And we do have two counterparts here. Queen of Pentacles and King of Pentacles. This person wants stability. They want happiness. They're looking for that. Right? And 
they're just trying to figure out how they can obtain it and they're not going to obtain it until they go through healing until they make the choices until they deliver you a stable offer right something that's stable and quality and I feel like this page of Pentacles also represents a student um, your person is trying to learn how to make better choices because they know that they need to heal the situation they know that the situation can't go on the way it is so they're they're learning they're learning but I feel like at the moment your person is going through a lot of pain and turmoil there's a lot of chaos in this person's life so acknowledge that right have a little bit of compassion and patience for this person and I know some of you are saying you know I've had patience for them for so long and you know they just keep hurting my feelings they just keep doing this that and the other but have patience have patience with this person okay that is what I have for you today so if this resonates with you please like and subscribe and I will see you on the next one thank you